the night before Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> it's different out there. All those kids turned into adults. They stopped believing. <laughs> and it was magic. So, for the good of Christmas, I'm retiring. Wow. I didn't even know you could do that. I think we've seen what the rest of the world's like as normal people. I'm making a list of things I want to do. Oh. I need a crossing guard. <laughs> Sandra, they warned you this is what I look like here. It's its dad, me. You know, I have a fun Cheeto. Put cocoa in it instead of coffee. Put a little peppermint in there if you have that. Chop up some cookies and um, sprinkles. Name for the order? <laughs> Santa. Sir, my job is hard enough. <laughs> First time I'm going to spend Christmas with my family. destroying Christmas spirit. When the last of the light goes out, it could be the end of Christmas. I retired too soon. I hired the wrong guy. Oh. I've got to go back to the North Pole. Elves are disappearing. Elves are disappearing? You should have led with that. We're going. <laughs> Okay, so I'm happy to see that, yes, Charlie is, in fact, back. I was wondering about that. I was like, what happened to his family in the first trailer? Okay, but my question is, it kind of seems like they're messing with the rules of the first movie. Because from what I could understand, it was like being Santa was a lifetime gig, and they meant that literally, like, you are Santa until you die. And you don't die because you're old. You die because, you know, you, you fall off the roof or something, and it's just kind of normal. Like, they just replace it all the time. But now it's like, no, I can retire now. So, I don't know. And also, why doesn't he just pass on the mantle to his son? Or, I guess, I guess sons. Because, uh, I guess, you know, at the end of the third movie, he has uh, the the other baby with uh, the other wife that he has. So, so, either Charlie or whatever the other kid's name was. So, and I'm curious by this other this other Santa that they didn't show, right? Who does he give the mantle to? Why is he, is he knowingly trying to sabotage Christmas or was it just like a bad deal? Like, I don't know. I'm curious as, as to how that's going to play out. This, this looks really good. It looks like it has the same sort of type of style as the movie. They gave it a really good budget. It looks like it has the same type of humor as the movie. I'm very excited to see the show when it comes out. Let me know what you guys thought.